What's going on guys, it's Greg Mises Styles, and welcome back to another week of the ECD Pick'em Show. This one is about the first round of the playoffs. We're approaching the end of the season. It's been really fun, so thank you all for watching along all season. Let's start out with a little unboxing. Um, as the college season wraps up, we start to ramp up for the PLL season. You go straight into it, which is awesome. Lacrosse never stops this summer. So first, we've got a couple heads from my friend Robert at Wizard Strings. These are for Jay Carlson from the Whip Snakes. Uh, these are pretty cool custom heads. He nailed that whip snakes green. So we're gonna string this one up for him. We've already got this one strung. It's got the gray snake pattern at the top, little whip snake. Um, we've got his pocket here with gray hero three storm striker. And I've also got a couple setups. I dyed these are not quite as nice as those ones uh, from Miles Jones. So redwoods green to neon yellow, his pocket that he's been using for a couple years in the Mirage too. And this one's a, a more simple all white with green. So we're gonna put together soon another Pro Setups Volume 2. You guys really enjoyed that video, it's up to 10,000 views. Uh, so we'll put another one of those coming up closer to the season as we get everybody's sticks out. All right, so from the weekend, we had the first round playoff games. I've got my bracket right here that I filled out before the weekend. I picked the games six for eight, which was okay. So we had UNC beat Monmouth. Um, you know, I love Bryce Wasserman, but I don't think anyone was really doubting that game. Then we had Rutgers versus Lehigh. So Rutgers actually, despite the fact that Rutgers had a great season, was highly ranked all year, um, sometimes even higher ranked than Lehigh. That's an upset because Lehigh won their conference. So Rutgers takes down Lehigh with what I think was the only upset of the whole bracket. You had Georgetown beat Syracuse really badly uh, at Maryland. That was really surprising. Georgetown looked unbelievable. Jake Carraway looks unbelievable. I think they're dangerous. Uh, Virginia Bryant, Bryant actually gave them a really good battle, took it down the wire, but UVA advances. Maryland, Vermont, um, you know, Maryland played a great game. They took that game. Notre Dame Drexel, Drexel also put up a great fight, almost pulled off the upset. Shout out to my boy Ross Blumenthal, former EC employee. Notre Dame moves on. Then we had last night what I thought was the best game of the first round, Denver versus Loyola. Loyola went out to a big lead early. Denver came back and Loyola goalie had to make a stop with like two seconds on the clock. Guys coming right across the doorstep, one fake, Puts it high, should have gone low. Loyola makes a save, game over. They advance after forfeiting their conference championship due to COVID. Really great story there. I'm hoping to see them make a long run. But on the other side of their bracket, you've got Duke High Point, Duke Handle High Point. Michael Sowers looked unbelievable. Uh, all of the tour time winner that he might be as usual. So this week, let's take a look at the giveaway. If you win this week, you're gonna get this natural DNA and this white striker hero three to string up. So all you have to do is enter at the link in the description. We've got the season long prizes, which are wrapping up soon, but also giveaways every week. So all you, if you haven't participated all season, that's fine. Get in this week, you can still win a great prize. So we're gonna be entering the quarterfinals. We're down to just eight teams. Uh, let's run through the matchups really quickly. So we're gonna have UNC versus Rutgers. In my bracket, I've got UNC advancing to the semis. Then Georgetown versus UVA. I have UVA beating Georgetown after seeing UVA play just okay ball and Georgetown look unbelievable. I'm a little worried about that pick. I think that side of the semifinal could go to UNC Georgetown, which would be a game I would love to see. And I'm kind of rooting against my own bracket here now because I really kind of want Georgetown to win that game. Other side, we've got Maryland versus Notre Dame. I would say of all the games, this is probably the one that people have picked either side of. There's a lot of people that think that Notre Dame could upset Maryland. Uh, Maryland has not played any ACC teams this season. Obviously, it was an all-Big Ten schedule. So that's the big question mark is once they get out against these ACC teams, how are they going to fare? They're going to have to get through two of them more than likely to make it to the championship. Next game, I've got Maryland in that game. But again, I'm shaky on that pick. Next game, Loyola versus Duke. Loyola, a really great story, making a run. I think Duke will handle them and move us into the semifinals for Memorial Day weekend. So stay tuned, we're gonna have another episode next week on Monday, make your picks, link in the description, season giveaways, giveaway for this week, and we'll check back in a week. So thanks guys, thanks for watching. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and have a great day. <laughs>